Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new here, welcome. Let's go ahead and get right into today's video. Okay, y'all. So first things first that I want to get into is Chloe Bailey's new single. Okay, now, you know, Chloe's been releasing a lot of songs off that album in pieces. Um, I think this is her like fourth or fifth single. Um, yeah, she's been doing a lot when it comes to the singles on the album. Um, would I say it's too much? I, don't, I wouldn't say it's too much because she needs a hit, okay? She needs a hit. So this most recent um, joint that she put out is called Body Do, all right? Now, Body Do is this upbeat, poppy vibe song. Um, it sounds like a song you can work out to. Um, you know, it's a really nice vibe, okay? So she recently released that as a single. Um, I love this song. I definitely do love the song. And I'm glad she's going in a more pop route, just kind of so she can expand her audience a bit more. Um, yeah, all right. And um, the song has a lot of replay value. So she definitely going to be getting those spins when it comes to people on, you know, streaming and whoop de whoop de whoop okay? But um, I just hope this album performs well. I hope this album does well. I hope she has some other strong, hard hitter um, tracks on this album. Um, only because, like, you know, Chloe's still kind of new to this new artist stuff, you know. So I just hope that she really can thrive. I want her to thrive, okay? Um, this is single number four, I believe. Single number four. Actually, no, I'm tripping. I think this is only num number three. I'm I'm tripping like shit, okay? It's number three. Um, but typically, when people do the albums, they don't really release more than three before the album actually comes out. Um, at least nowadays. At least nowadays, okay? But yes, um, her new single, Body Do, is out. Um, it's definitely the, one of the stronger songs for promotional purposes of that album, okay? So, how do y'all feel about that? If you tuned in, let me know your opinion on the song. Let's move on to this next topic. Okay, y'all. It seems like Sweetie is preparing to gear up for this new album. She's preparing to launch this new, new music, okay? Um, her new album is allegedly going to be called Pretty Bitch Music, the album, okay? Now, I feel like she's been talking about this damn Pretty Bitch Music, Pretty Bitch New Music for years now. We're in 2023, and you're still talking about this? Um, I just recall this album being announced years ago. Okay, give it up. Hang it up, sweetie. I love you. I love, you, you know, all that you're here for. But just hang it up. Okay, there is no demand for your music. And I'm not saying that she shouldn't put it out because, you know, at the end of the day, it is her art. But I'm just at least change the name or something like at least. At least spice it up and repackage it to get the people excited. That's all I'm trying to say, okay? Now, you know, Sweetie is good for her, you know, her marketing, her modeling vibes, you know, her 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 boss woman vibes. But the music, it was cute back in 2018, 2017, if that, all right? So that's my opinion on that. Sweetie knows how to have a few bops to get you going in the club. But other than that, I don't really think she's an album artist. I just can't see Sweetie being known for an album. I just, she's just not that. She's just not on that stature um, as an artist. And honestly, that's fine. Um, but I don't, I'm not saying that she should not release her music because every artist and every person who creates art has the right to do what the fuck they want to do, say what they want to say, pu publish what they want to publish. That's fine. But all I'm saying is, Sweetie, just spice it up for us. Give us some new shit. And that's all. Okay, let's move on to this next topic. Okay, y'all, it's been reported that Nicki Minaj will be invited to the Met Gala. I mean, she's invited every year, honestly. So, I mean, is that new? Nah, it's not new. But I just want to kind of talk about it and discuss it because I feel like um, Nicki may not show up, okay? Y'all may look at me crazy. Y'all may call me crazy, delusional. Oh, complicated. You're delulu. You're delulu. You know, I'm just saying. I feel like Nicki, she don't really do the parties like that. She don't do um, the going out the house like that. She don't do the, she don't do all that rah rah. Okay, last year she was outside. You know she had a whole like you know single out. You know the whole performances. You know she was live. She was outside last year. But I feel like this year she might tone it down a bit. Um, I just feel like she's in this new era. This different vibe of just, you know, not really being in the mix. You know, she doesn't really want to be in the mix like that. Um, she didn't post on her birthday. Um, she wasn't online for that. Um, you know, she just doesn't really, you know, I feel like she just entered this new era. All right. This upper era. You know, she's been ignoring a lot of the drama for the most part. You know, she's just been out of the mix, in my opinion. OK, that's how I feel. How do y'all feel about that? Let me know your opinion on that. We can talk about that. But let's move on to this next topic. 
Okay, y'all, it seems like Beyonce has split ways with Abby Park. Um, Abby, actually, no, Abby Park has split ways with Adidas, okay? Um, they're not really seeing eye to eye, and creative-wise, they're just not really seeing it eye to eye, okay? Now, in my opinion, my opinion, you all know I have my opinions on Abby Park clothing. It's just not. Like, who's wearing that to the store? Who's wearing that to the mall? You know, it's just a lot of different factors that goes into the brand. Um, and, you know, the brand has lost over $200 million, okay? Well, actually, probably more than that, okay? Um, it's just not really seeing any profits when it comes to the brand. And it's just costing Adidas that coin, costing Abby Park that coin. And Beyonce's name is not enough to hold up, okay, the mediocre, disappointing clothing pieces that is Ivy Park, okay? And it's very unfortunate because, you know, maybe if they just change the direction of the clothing, then they probably would not be seeing a decline like this. Um, you know, it's just, I don't know, y'all. I just really feel like a lot of times when the brand is relying on one person to keep the name alive, it's asking to crumble, okay? Without Beyonce, nobody's buying that fuck-ass clothes. I'm sorry. Who wants to say, oh, I'm going to wear my new Ivy Park to the to this show. I'm going to wear my new Ivy Park to the store. Nobody's, you don't hear nobody say that shit in person. Nobody's talking about it, okay? I'm not a hater at all. I'm not a hater. I just recognize what's going on, and I comment my opinion on it, okay? How do you feel about that? Let me know down below in the comment section, and we can go ahead and talk about it. Until then... Let's move on to this next topic. Okay, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. So this Doja Cat tattoo has the people going crazy. Um, she recently got a tattoo on her arm, um, on her inner arm, okay, um, forearm. Um, and this just has people going crazy, okay? Now, Doja Cat is my girl. She's my girl. But lately, you know, she's been moving a bit weird okay and it has the people upset okay so the tattoo is this satanic kind of vibe um it has like horns on it um you know and she's been being accused of being a devil worshiper recently and you know she's with that satanic ish her new album is called hell mouth um you know she is just having a lot of talk in the media when it comes to this you know people are saying she's doing her rituals she's doing her symbolisms people are just like okay you know you could do what you want to do but i don't want to support that okay so this tattoo just has the people going crazy and um honestly i'm not gonna lie it kind of did creep me out a little bit i'm like okay doja what's, what's going on here doja what's going on okay i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie all right um but yes y'all how do y'all feel about that do you all feel like it's just like not that serious when people are overreacting because i did see people say y'all just doing too much whoop -de -whoop -de -woo, um and things of that sort but hey y'all at the end of the day everybody got free will but at the end of the day everybody don't gotta agree with it let's move on to this next topic all right all right all right y'all it seems like black china is now rebranding as angela white okay um as of recently she's gotten baptized and she's you know doing this whole life-changing thing and she now says you know what i'm not black china i'm angela white you know what you know what i'm saying i used to be black now i'm white like michael jackson okay um and that's just that okay no respect to mj it's just jokes for y'all get crazy in the comments relax calm your fucking tits okay damn should I be doing too damn much? But yes, yeah, I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of Black China. Um, you know, she's just doing her thing. I've recently been talking about it lately because um, I like to talk about it. You know, it's kind of nice to hear a refreshing story of change for once. You know, like you don't really hear a lot about people changing their life around in the industry like that. Um, it's just a lot of toxic, toxic, toxic BS. And it just keeps going, going, going. Um, yeah, so she's gotten baptized lately. Okay. Um, and she said, I'm Angela White. You know, this is really good, y'all. It's really good. How do y'all feel about that? Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. But I was seeing people say that um, she really had to remove the stuff, like her face and her, you know, all the butt stuff because it was damaging her body. And she's trying to act like she's going through this change. Now, me personally, I wouldn't agree with that because I just, you can just see when somebody, you can, you can feel when somebody is changing and their entire energy is changing. So that's that on that. Let's move on to this next topic. Okay, y'all, it seems like there is not much hope for TikTok staying in the U.S. at the moment. Um, there is just, yeah, it's just about to go left, okay? This can impact a lot of things, businesses, society, and most importantly, 
in regards to this channel, the music industry, okay? Um, bitches can't hop on TikTok no more and shake their little ass and now they song with number one on Hot 100. Bitches can't pop their little cootie cat doing a little um, left leg up, right leg up and top 10 on Billboard. No, okay? You can't do that no more and get thousands and hundreds of thousands of streams per day. That's not happening anymore, unfortunately. Um, Hopefully not. I ain't gonna lie. Hopefully not. But yes, y'all, how do y'all feel about this TikTok thing potentially changing the music industry and all that stuff? I don't want to get too deep into it because I want the video to not be so long. You know, I don't want to piss y'all off. Um, but yes, y'all, how do y'all feel about that? Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section and we can go ahead and talk about that. But until then, I will see you in the next video and be safe.